A large black bear attacked an elderly woman in her bed last night. Game and fish officials say the bear ripped off a screen door to get inside the woman's home and then swiped at the woman's face. News 13's Lizé Mitri is in the newsplex with more. Jessica, the victim says she didn't see the bear when it attacked in Cimarron around 10 last night, but her cuts, the damage to the screen door, and nearby bear tracks confirmed her suspicions. Game and Fish isn't quite sure, though, what lured the bear in the first place. We're in a drought, and they're looking for food, and um, it could have been any number of things that prompted the bear to do this, but uh, again, it's not a common occurrence. This is a picture with wildlife officer Kyle Jackson and a local houndsman with the 400 pound black bear. They found it this morning about a mile or so from the victim's house and killed it. Jackson says the elderly woman had minor cuts on her nose and head. He says she is at home and doing fine. The bear's remains are now at the Veterinary Diagnostic Services Lab. It'll be tested there for rabies. Its paws and mouth will be tested for the victim's DNA to confirm it was the attacker. This bear didn't have any ear tags or, or no history of this bear being a, a nuisance before. So um, just one of those freak things, I guess. Game and Fish contacted a local houndsman who used his dogs to track down the bear. He says they were lucky today because the heat dissipates the smell, making it harder for dogs to trail bears in the summer. Back to you. All right, thank you, Lizay. Game and Fish officers expect to get lab results back within a few days.